Hey, welcome back to another episode of What Elon Said. Today is March 18th. I'm here solo today. My name is Mark. And today we're going to jump right into the biggest topics of what Elon Musk has said on Twitter. So to start off with, we have a post uh, that Elon replied to, liked about the uh, big sandstorms, dust storms that are spreading from the Sahara across Europe. And Massimo said, hey, Elon Musk, if Mars had ski slopes, would they look like this? And this is a ski resort in Spain, completely covered with sand, really weird. So just cool to imagine what that would be like um, if you ever had your skis on Mars, although the gravity might be a little a little lighter. So Elon said yes. Next up, we have uh, Elon was continuing the reply to Phil self-driving. There was an issue with um, how a company and an owner actually that provided a uh, sort of a smear campaign against Tesla was providing BMW some software and that uh, agreement was disconnected. It's just showing that full self-driving is very hard and slamming Tesla about it is not the way to do it. Uh, Regardless, we have a follow-up to this um, where Elon just noted that full full self-driving is releasing in Canada next week. So we're looking forward to that. It's been... uh, promise for a while and it looks like it is uh, finally here so it'll be interesting to see how um, Tesla performs on the roads of Canada welcoming many more people to provide data uh, to get to um, full autonomous driving Um, jumping over we already finished what Elon gave comments on and tweeted about but he does like a number of posts that we can talk about here so first up, we have Tesla Roddy is talking about a, a Tesla Mach Model 3 that was on autopilot and had a Ford Explorer crash into it. Um, what's most amazing about this is that after the crash, the car knew to pull over and stop. And also because the car, the Tesla Model 3 has so much weight behind it, it's not like a normal you know sedan. It actually has a lot of heft. So even having a, a huge car like an Explorer crash into it, the Explorer was much more damaged than the actual Model 3. So you can see here, it's not a lot of damage. And it's just amazing that it was okay. The Model, the Explorer almost flipped over. Model 3 is fine. Um, definitely damaged the body because it was a crash, but the passenger is completely fine. And the autopilot needed to take over and, uh, and park the car on the side to keep it safe. So great news there that Elon liked. Um, here was an interesting chart from Ashley Vance. They shared this from Experian that Tesla is uh, 70% of US electric vehicle sales for the fleet. So they really dominate, you can see down here. Um, but Ashley Vance is joking around saying, this chart cannot be correct. I was told that GM is the leading the electric revolution, which was what uh, President Biden said at GM when he gave a a speech there saying that they are the leaders and sort of reiterated it during his State of the Union by mentioning GM and Ford, but not mentioning Tesla. Um, One item to note here, you can see that there is one state that it is not leading in, for Tesla's not leading in, and that is in Alaska, where Nissan is the largest share. I have the feeling that's the Nissan Leaf, um, which really isn't a full autonomy, a full electric vehicle. But Tesla is number two, and also Alaska is a colder environment, so I don't think that electric is probably as adopted as much there um, due to some uh, preconceived notions about how electric performs in colder environments. But regardless, Tesla is way in the lead, and with their Austin Gigafactory coming online this month, we should see this accelerate as most of the other manufacturers around the world except for China, have not been keeping pace in, in uh, bringing new electric factories online to deliver on their promises. Next up, we have uh, just a nice like from Elon about uh, a lot of anniversaries this week. This one is about 2008. This is the day, it was actually yesterday, that the production of Tesla Roadster began. And there was a little video of Elon 
pulling out of the factory on one of the first Tesla Roadsters. I'm not sure if it was the first, the first, but he's in there. He's very happy in the video and gave a, a quick interview. Well worth seeing. So he liked it. Congratulations to the, another anniversary um, for the amazing mission of Tesla. And over here we have a, a like from uh, Prani Patel that uh, what I admire Elon Musk for is he's generally trying to fix the problems of the world. Thank you. Elon liked that. He's done a lot lately, of course, with Starlink. Uh, he has also provided uh, the charging stations. The mission of Tesla, of course, and SpaceX is to improve humanity in different ways. And just yesterday, there was an announcement from Elon that they're working on their um, master plan part three each master plan's focus is how Tesla will improve over the coming years with them very ambitious goals, and each of those goals are tied to improving humanity in some way. We also had a like uh, about um, an article here um, that uh, showing that Tesla competitors are uh, spending money on smear campaigns. This is actually just what we talked about um, and how the those don't work in the long run. So he's, he, it just talks about how there was that ad campaign and of course that CNBC story, that autopilot does not work and it's very dangerous. And coincidentally, that, that whole campaign was put out by a software developer that sells products helping get um, many of the manufacturers towards self-driving. Um, so now that that's cut off from BMW, it'll be interesting to see where that company leads to but it really takes down and tears down the overall smear campaigns that are out there. So very interesting. And finally, yes, we did not have too much today. Uh, we had um, Shibatoshi Nakamoto's account um, gave a back and forth with Lex Friedman about virtual signaling on Twitter, basically saying how Twitter mobs always attack people and they always uh, are in the negative rather than trying to help. Uh, Lex said, instead of focusing on people and ideas you hate, focus on people and ideas you love. Um, Shiboshi Nakamoto talked about virtual signaling mobs are just bad news. Um, and the part that Elon liked was that um, he said, or that person said, essentially, it's just adults acting like the kids in Lord of the Flies. And really, that is what it is. They sh Instead of the positive, they put out the negative. Anecdotally, the real Lord of the Flies group they found that the book was not based on um, was an Aboriginal group uh, near New Zealand. They were stuck there for a while in the 60s, I think, and they actually helped each other out. So in reality, the, uh, the reality is positive, not the fictional and Twitter version, which is negative. And building on that, Elon also liked Shiboshi, Shib Shibatoshi Nakamoto's post um, saying, just remember, we're literally on a rock hurling through space at 1,000 miles per hour around a giant flaming ball in the middle of nowhere. Not a very optimistic uh, take on that after that, after he's saying we shouldn't uh, be negative, but that's what he posted, and Elon liked that because it's kind of funny, and it's also true that we need to uh, realize our place in the universe. Well, that's all we had today. It wasn't too much, and we also missed Kevin. Looking forward to hearing from you on any other content we might have missed and your feedback on this. And with that, we'll see you tomorrow on What Elon Said. Thanks.